Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about two concepts that you should understand when going through system design interviews. These concepts are that of latency and throughput. I will outline the differences between the two and how you can apply this information when going for your interviews. So let's begin by looking at latency. What is latency? Latency is the time taken to perform an action and to receive a response. For example, consider the round trip time when using a service over the internet. A user would make a request to a particular service, say google.com, that packet would get sent over the network, would be received by the Google data center, and then a response is sent back to the user. That total time is latency, and it's measured in milliseconds or seconds. It can be reduced via caching, fewer external requests. So if your service has to make a call to an external API, we can make fewer of those requests where possible or minimizing the distance between client and server. For example, it's going to take a lot longer for a packet to go from the United Kingdom to Asia than say from the United Kingdom to the Netherlands. And whilst we can reduce latency, we're still bound by the laws of physics, so we can't completely eliminate latency. Let's now take a look at some actual figures around latency. You don't need to memorize these numbers, but you should bear it in mind in your interviews. A round trip from within the same data center would be on the order of 500 nanoseconds. Whereas to read one megabyte from an SSD is one millisecond or twice as long. To read one megabyte from a disk is 20 milliseconds or 20 times as long as reading from SSD. And a round trip from California to Netherlands back to California is 150 milliseconds. Let's now move on to talk about throughput. What is throughput? Throughput is the amount of data transferred successfully within a certain period of time. It's a rate. It's measured in terms of bits per second, megabits per second, or gigabits per second, and will be less than the bandwidth. The bandwidth is the theoretical maximum capacity of our network. Often we are interested in the target throughput and the maximum sustained throughput. The target throughput is the real world observed throughput that we use when we make decisions around scaling. And this value is chosen so that it's less than the maximum sustained throughput, but chosen so that spikes in terms of load or a node going offline don't cause issues in the system. The maximum sustained throughput is the maximum throughput that we can sustain indefinitely without our system becoming degraded. We can increase throughput by improving the network infrastructure. As an example to highlight the differences, let's consider water in pipes. Latency is a measure of the amount of time it takes to flow through the pipe. Bandwidth would be how wide the pipe is, and throughput is the rate of flow of water through the pipe. When it comes to your system design interviews, you won't be asked simply what is latency or what is throughput and explaining the difference. Instead, you'll be presented with a scenario such as design a newsfeed or design a photo sharing application, design YouTube, etc. And as part of your design, you may be asked follow up questions such as how would you reduce the latency? Understanding the difference between latency and throughput will enable you to answer clearly. As always, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.